Yeah, we're good. We in it to win it. Episode motherfucking 20. Cook it through Snoop Dogg's cookbook. What's up, Picture Frame? Thank you for coming, Cheyenne. Yesterday was a madhouse in here, full of crab and friendship. What's up, Miss Scabs? Sassy Lassie? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh. What's up, Aaron W? What's up, Derek? Yesterday we had the crab legs cracking. Thank you for coming, dog. What's up, Vivian? I hope uh, Chicago's treating you well, man. I got some gifts from Jack. I don't know. He's not in here yet, but he hooked it up with this next cookbook that I'm probably going to cook from. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty in-depth. This dude talks about, like, how to, uh, like, pickle shit, how to, like, make jars of your own dip, um... And stuff like that. What's up, Krista? Thanks for coming. Happy Wednesday. Um, but anyway, Jack K got this off of my Amazon wish list. This dude's like super viral. You can't really see him. His name's Joshua Wiseman. See what I'm saying? Another cookbook we can work from. But that's not what we're doing today. We're cooking through Snoop Dogg's cookbook, obviously. I'm going to set it over here. I don't know if Jack's in here yet or not. But yeah, he hooked it up. He also got some uh, measuring cups for me. See? So we got these uh, from Jack K. He's from Minnesota. Local dude. But anywho, that's what we got going. Hey, there's Jack. I was just saying, dog. Check it out. Jack from Minnesota. Wow. We got him on the measuring uh, measuring cups. I'm going to call them measuring sticks. And this is sweet, dude. I didn't really know what was going to be in this one. Uh, like I just kind of said. But this dude teaches you how to make like your own ketchups, hot sauces, uh, mayos, jalapeno, whatever's, um, pesto sauces, all sorts of really cool stuff. Uh, you can't really see it. It's kind of bright, but that's all right. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to cook from this. This will be fun. Docu-series on what? Yeah, shout out to Jack, though. For real, for real. Turn that off for just a moment. This is... We'll do something with that next one. No, I don't watch Glee. What's up, Aaron? Hey, hey, Ron. Yeah, feel free. You can scan those QR codes. Today's not going to be as crazy as yesterday. Scan those QR codes. Hook it up if you're feeling generous. Um, Yeah, Geo's really fucking late. We're going to get the poll up. Bow. So there goes that. I wonder. Hey, um, someone do me a favor. Unfollow me and then follow me again. If it doesn't fuck up, if you're a sub subscriber, if it says like some sort of warning about that, don't do it. Um, follow me and unfollow me once. I want to test something. Aaron W. All right, CC's doing it. There we go. Cool. Could y'all hear Gordon Ramsay? Let them do it, Mike. 
<laughs> Sick. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, Gordon Ramsay's calling y'all a plank. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I don't know if you can... Can you hear it through your speakers or does it kind of come through this world? I think it comes through this world. What's up, Ariel? Thank you for coming. I think it's coming through this world. That's why. Yeah. Um, that's okay. I can adjust it later. I can make it louder. Not a big deal. But yeah, we made some sounds. Gordon Ramsay's going to be helping us, coaching us through the rest of this. Uh, we'll get Snoop Dogg in here eventually. See, it's a little louder, but I just turned it up on my uh, laptop. But it's all good. Yeah, it's coming through my world. It's okay. <laughs> you could stop doing that now. It's probably going to fuck with my shit. But that's cool. Thank you for the follow if you did just follow. Yep, now we know. See, that's what life's all about. It's testing shit, trying shit, doing shit, being shit. Oh, maybe not being shit. Maybe some days. Can't be 100, you know, all the time. Who's this? Miss Meisen, thank you for coming. Thank you for the follow again. We've got to test it out. We, I think we figured it out. We're good. We're good. We good. Get up. Uh, rock the fucking vote. Top of the chat. I'm drinking a LaCroix. This is orange flavored. Zest of orange. So with the QR code, all you do is hold your camera up to it. Don't take a picture. A little link should pop up on the bottom. And then you just click the link with your finger. And then it'll take you either to Amazon or PayPal. If anybody has any bits to cheer, do, do a cheer once. Because uh, I want to see if Gordon Ramsay's working there too. I don't know if anybody has any bits. But that shit's like fucking smashing. I appreciate everybody that's been tossing them up because that was crazy. Last, There it is. He's yelling for lamb sauce. I'll do this better next time. Or I bet you I'd have to plug it in. That might work. There it is. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on. I got to get some Snoop ones in here too. Thank you, Sassy Lassie. I know. I got to get the donkey one. That's what I was doing today. Picking shit out on my wish list. Um, I just went crazy. I put a fucking grill on there. But I wouldn't expect that. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going for it. This Joshua Wiseman cookbook that Jack got me. Um, if you're just joining, like I said, I'm stoked on it. Because he's going to teach me how to make like my own sauces. And you think about like all the additives that are in your fucking ketchups and fucking whatever. I mean, I'm a pretty low key eater myself. I think like this is the biggest habit that I changed was like to stop drinking as much pop as I used to. Um, but I think I could be a little bit better about some of that shit too. I'm not sure how to do that, Geo, but that's a good good question. And I think we can. F I'll follow up on that like tomorrow morning. Yeah, I appreciate you though, Sassy. I think you're like one of the top, you're one of the top bit, bit givers. I have another little ticker that I was messing with to show my like top three or something like that. And you're, I think you're number two, Miss Lassie. Um, let's see. I need a, a fork in, I'm out of, out of power options. That's the thing. I didn't really realize that. I wonder... I wonder. So I've got some cool speakers here. We could make it loud. But I need power. 
I might just forego it this time and uh, troubleshoot later. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yesterday was a madhouse. When people are here, it's really hard for me to see the chat and get back with y'all. So I appreciate everybody just chilling and fucking doing their thing. Um, they actually did like the crab, so broiling it worked pretty well. I kind of liked it myself, so that was pretty cool. Hell yeah. Shout out to cutting back on soda. Yeah, definitely remind yourselves. I mean, I know most of y'all are gombos, but we've got we got new people coming in every day. Um, and if we get any trolls, let the trolls troll. They're probably just hurting individuals. You know what I mean? So we're just going to let them troll and Geo will just kick them out. So we don't got to worry about it. We don't need to engage with them. Because we're going places. Yesterday was easily my highest average um, concurrent viewer. We had like, 28, I think, or something like that. Average people. So that was pretty fucking rad. Shout out to y'all for hanging 10 with your boy. Is my microphone loud enough for y'all? Jack sent me a very nice message um, and let me know that it was kind of quiet. So I tweaked a little tweaks, twisted some knobs. Ms. Meisen, get up there and uh, vote. Rock the vote. At the top of the chat, there's a poll that you can click on to vote. Hey, cheers to quitting cigarettes. That was easily the hardest thing I'm watching both my parents do. Um, I was trying to quit that shit. It took my dad a heart attack. Like a triple or quadruple bypass surgery and shit. For him to want to quit uh, smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Shut up, Gio. But hey, man, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and smoke your cigs. You filthy fucking animal. 39 years sig free. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. This is America. You're right. You ain't wrong. <laughs> Shut up, honey badger. <laughs> Everybody in here is being all positive, and you just come in and pour a bunch of fucking gasoline, light a match, and then you're probably just going to walk away, aren't you? Can you smell that? Oh, there's a subscription. Can y'all smell that? Man, I should get my, I should see if my Bluetooth has any, any. Oh, you know what I can do? I got it, I got it, I got it. We got it. All right, I got a little Bluetooth boy. We're going to plug it into this little battery power guy, and it'll be louder. There she goes. What are we cooking, guys? Check the poll out. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know. Holy shit. Cheers for fucking keeping on, keeping on. Picture framed. Let me see. Uh, let's go. Let's see. MacBook cam. What are we cooking? Chicken wings. Oh, orange chicken. That's good. Because we're going to come and do both today, actually. Looks like orange chicken won. That's going to be fun. That'll be a good one. Uh, we're going to do both, though, because we got to set a brine up, and we're going to talk about brining your chicken. Um, what the fuck did I come over here to do again? Oh, yeah. Speaker. Speaker, 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 speaker. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Kind of been a, oh, there she is.
Connected? Okay. Might have to give up on this. I ain't playing shit. All right, it's working. Go ahead and test it with a bit if anybody has any. Oh shit, we're close to a hype train. Damn. This doesn't want to work, dude. This is such a bummer. What a bummer. What a bummer. Because this. Music plays through it. Okay, we're going to abandon this. Turn that off. We'll work in there. That's fine. All right. Appreciate you guys hanging in there. Okay, so here we go. Um, Brian, and we're doing the other one. So I looked ahead, thankfully, and they are calling for uh, a, a bit of a brine for your chicken Chicken legs. So I got some chicken legs in there. Thaw it out. We're just going to do four because that's a lot of frying. <clears throat> Stole one from your babysitter. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Look at this fucking cat. All right, focus. <clears throat> Cooking from Snoop Dogg's Cookbook, episode 20. This is uh, the orange chicken with white rice. <clears throat> Nah. Where are we at? We are making orange chicken, white rice. We did the lobster, did the mac and cheese. There it is. Orange chicken with white rice. That's what we're making. You know, here in LA, there's always the hood Chinese places. We grew up with it. They got fried chicken, Chinese food, all in the same spot. Like Louisiana chicken on the left side and Chinese food on the right side. Now, I just love orange chicken from different Chinese food spots around the world. I always be asking them about the ingredients so I can put my own spin on it at home. And it looks like that's what we're doing. This looks really good. I love orange chicken, sesame chicken, uh, the whole nine. So those are great. I just realized we're out of green onions, so we're just going to use rego onions. So that's okay. So that's that, right? We're going to go to the chicken. And we can brine this chicken for like 48 hours if we really need to. That's what the chicken wings look like. And we're going to say, like I said, we're going to start with this brine. So uh, brine it to me. Brining it to me. We need sugar, salt. What's going on in the chat? Chicken wings are your kid's favorite? I don't think Haven's mom is in here yet. That's okay. Oh, we need a Michael Bay leaf. Michael Bay leaf. Red pepper flakes and an orange peel. Orange peel.
crust red pepper. And we're gonna use these handy dandy measuring sticks that uh, Jack gave us. Shout out to fucking Jack. Man, it's a lot less chaotic in here when it's just me. Yeah, it's Jack K. Bang, bang. All right, to brown the chicken, we gotta fill a large pot with five cups of water. Large pot. I hope this is large enough. In goes two cups. Oh yeah, this will be big enough. Brian, some chicken, dog. Washing some laundry, dog. Hell yeah. We just hustling and bustling. Just a bunch of men. Four cups. Five cups. Gio, we got five cups of water to start our brine, all right, buddy? Um, brining makes the chicken more tender and a little more flavorful. You got it to screw. Okay. Water. High heat, bring it to a boil. That's high as hell. Right, Aaron? Nah, Nate doesn't make shit hectic. He's just doing his he's just doing his damn thing. And then we add the sugar, salt, bay leaf, and red pepper flakes in orange peel. Stirring until the sugar and salt dissolve for about a minute. So we gotta wait for this thing to get up and ripping. Slide this to the side. I'm gonna get this somewhat peeled and take this sticker off probably give it a little wash we're gonna give this a wash okay Whoops. I don't know if this is a good idea. I think I just should just get in here and peel it, pull it. Well, there's some of it. There's some more of it. So yeah, we're making the brine before we get to the orange chicken. Coincidentally enough, the brine recipe calls for an orange peel. I don't know how much of an orange peel. Just a peel. No, we just need an orange peel. No, and this is kind of falling yeah. apart. Work. No, not this recipe. Snoop Dogg has got enough zest, I think. I didn't buy the zester. I don't even remember on it. Nice. Nate's got a zester. Nate's nice and zesty for us, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say this is probably enough. Mm-hmm. Start that to the side. Is red in here? Is that too much orange peel?
You dancing? Yep. Hell yeah, Nate's dancing off camera, I'm guys. Wearing some Mexican food, but Ooh. it smells really good in here. Well, and we then, just got an orange going right now, so I think we're gonna get some brine going for the chicken wings, and then I'm making orange chicken uh, with rice for the meal. When are you doing this chicken and waffles? Uh, probably next week. Right. I gotta go find a whole chicken somewhere. I've been striking out. Striking out. If y'all got a chicken guy, let me know. Um. Okay. What do we need for the other shit? A third cup of granulated sugar. Going to the jack stack. We'll call these the jack stack. Uh, honey badger. I know where you live, bud. And I'm pretty sure I've got more uh, homeschool videos that you want to shake a stick at. So that's enough um, sugar. What do I do if I need these other ones? We need a third cup of kosher salt. Michael Bayleaf. Yeah? Well? It's because I don't fucking like you. Hey, man, you had your chance at Christmas. <laughs> nah, dude, you should come and be a special guest. If you can get away. I know it's kind of late, though. I might get Drew to do it. I mean, the long-legged stork. What's up, CC? What are you laughing at? Hell yeah. This guy's swirling. All right. Red pepper flakes. What do we need? A teaspoon. Where is the lamb sauce? Where is the lamb sauce? Who just subscribed? Oh, that's a cheer. Thank you, Miss Scabs. I gotta remember which sound effect is for what. I gotta think I gotta do like a Snoop Dogg to kind of help me differentiate. That's okay. We're gonna let them lay eggs. Eggs are expensive too. Teaspoon of red pepper. Tablespoon? Teaspoon? TBSP. T.S. One teaspoon. Half teaspoon. T.S.P. There we go. I got letters down. I can do letters. Look at me being exact with the measurements. Isn't that neat? How often do you pet sit chickens? I didn't really know if that was a thing. A chicken sitter. Yeah, I'm a chicken sitter. So we've got to wait for this to boil. We're making the brine for chicken wings. They can marinate for two days, so this is perfect timing. And brining makes your chicken taste more tender. I don't know if I'm going to get them this crispy. That is very, very crispy. Shut up! What'd you get for Mexican food? Uh, pastor quesadilla and some chocolate, chocolate flan cake. Do you want to sit in the background and just eat it on camera? No, it's kind of weird. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> But chocolate cool. blonde cake is where it's at. It's well, tra well traveled. Yeah, she's 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 been on the way. Ooh. It's so good though. I don't think I've ever had that before. It's like it's kind of like a like a Jello on the bottom, kind of creamy yeah, like Jello. Blonde. I don't, have you ever had blonde? I don't know if I have. It sounds gross. And it looks Blum. gross, but it tastes delicious. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> cool. Is uh is fucking red in here yet? 
I need to know if I have too many orange peels for this brine. <laughs> About half an orange. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say this is boiling. We're going to go ahead and add that. We're going to go ahead... Third cup of salt. We need a little more. Nope. Oh, spilled the red pepper flakes. So we'll get a little more. I was being exact. I tried. You guys seen it. Still appreciate you, Jack. And we're going to get these in. Sorry, Red. I'm doing it. If it's too many, it's too many. We'll get this, oh shit, this sugar sticking to the bottom. Not good. Turn the heat down. Oh yeah, the sugar is like straight up melting the bottom. This is not good. I think we're okay. So I'm just going to keep spinning this. Sugar and salt dissolve about a minute. Remove from the heat and let it cool. I think it's dissolved. Okay. So we'll let this cool. It looks kind of good, I guess. Chicken noodle soup sounds delicious. It kind of does. You can definitely smell the, the orange, I guess, but that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna set my jack stack to the side. Okay, while, that, while we're working on the cooling for that, let's go to this orange chicken recipe. Elotes and tamales. I like that. Let's see. What do we got? There it is. For the orange sauce. Three-fourths cup of OJ. Where's the fucking lamb sauce? What's up, Aaron? Lamb sauce is on its way. So we go three-fourths of this in the smack. Dinkle. Soy sauce. That W sauce. Soy sauce. Bow. Three TBSPs. Going back to my jack stack. Doesn't that make a noise? That makes a noise. I don't got any duck sauce, no. But the recipe doesn't call for duck sauce either. So I'm just trying to stick true to my roots with Snoop Dogg. We'll measure that when we're ready. I did manage to find Sriracha. Sriracha's been fucking out for a long time. Um, it's Target brand. So, you know, I'm repping local. Um, but I'm happy we got some of this. I haven't had Sriracha in like, in like a fucking year, it seems like. Bada bada bang! Sriracha. Ecuadorian and Brazilian. Okay. Sriracha, honey, sesame oil. I got them 
molasses problem. My molasses fell down in the cupboard, and now there's molasses. But I, the bottle's not broke, so I don't understand. That would be a problem for future Cody. Nope, sesame seed, ses sesame oil. It says sesame oil, y'all. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Sesame oil. Ba -ba -ba. Oops, I don't know if I have sesame oil. I thought I had sesame oil. I got sesame seeds. Oh shit, who's following? Sword of jank Janky? What's good? Uh, I found some toasted sesame oil. That's cool. Sesame seeds. We're going to need them. Dame cock. Everyone, I have a very important announcement. Where's the lamb sauce? Thank you, Miss Scabs. Okay. Still need them red pepper flakes. We got that. I'm gonna set these chicken wings off to the side. Two large eggs, cornstarch. This is like fucking three dollars worth of eggs right here. Corn stash. Corn stash. Eggs are expensive. Chicken, chicken thigh, chicken breast is in there. Canola oil. You canola oil. Hey, stupid. Pure canola oil. Yo, I got that pure on the low. Rice, got it. Sesame seeds, got it. Scallions, whoopsies. And we're good. I got regular white onions. We're going to rock some white onions instead. My scallions just done went bad. Okay. To make the orange sauce. In a small saucepan over medium heat, whisk the orange juice, soy sauce, sriracha, honey, sesame oil, and red pepper flakes. Bring to a simmer. Cook for six to seven minutes until thickened. Remove from the heat and set aside. That's easy. We could probably do that. Right, Gio? I think we could do that. So we go... What did it say? I just read it. Orange juice. Soy sauce, three TBSPs of soy sauce. So we got, am I still on? Yep. One, two, three. Dude, look at that. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Three TBSPs of soy sauce. We did that. How much sesame oil? One TSP. What's up, Miss Rampage? Yeah, you be churning that butter. I know it. So we're going to go with one TSP from the Jack Stack of sesame oil. Oh, got some on our book. That'll happen. 
especially on the big jobs. Aaron Carlisle knows. Okay, that's fine. Bow. Red pepper flakes. Oh, how much honey? One TBSP of honey. These are kind of nice, too. The, the honey even just slips right out. Well, sort of. Put just a little, little more in there. There we go. Bringing the jack stack to the sink. Get that rinse off right away. We don't need a mess. We don't need more messes than we're making messes. Okay. How much sriracha? One TBSP. I need a jack. I need my jack stack. All right. We gotta bring this bowl. Uh, bowl will do a boil. We still got some heat coming off of our brine back there, so we're just going to keep that chilling. But basically, we'll just transfer that to a big-ass bowl, put our chicken wings in it, let them soak and submerge overnight. And if you guys pick chicken wings tomorrow, that's what we're having. If not, they'll be good for the next day. The longer you brine it, the better off it's going to be. Um, online said fucking about two days is your max, though. sauce doesn't look very orange i guess the recipe does say orange but really kind of burgundy chicken with white rice so he's not totally lying we just want to bring this to a simmer we don't want it boiling what's up janine thank you for coming girl I think I need to switch to the whisk because I got some chunks of like sriracha and shit in there. Definitely smells like soy sauce, right, Nate? Um, it smells orangey. Nate says it smells orangey. We got smells going on here, guys. Competition of the noses. What you need? You need some gold silverware to make yourself feel a little cooler? Yeah. Okay. I do. <laughs> what do you got going on in there? So that's the brine for the chicken uh, chicken wings. Because I can right. brine them for about two days. And chicken wings almost one. So I figured I'll brine some chicken wings overnight. And if they pick them tomorrow, All right. we got some chicken wings for tomorrow. What do you got speakers out for? Uh, because I got sound effects now. So Gordon Ramsay does stuff when people give me like bits or subscribe or whatever. And it wasn't quite loud enough. So I was going to like make it louder by the microphone but cool. I just said fuck it <laughs> we're doing live you got like six highs Nate hi, hi, and it says hi everybody the sauce is not very thick She's not thick, boys. We're going to get rid of this. Let's see. This can go in the trash. We're going to need the cornstarch. Michael Bailey can get put away. Oh, shit. She's simmering. It says it's supposed to be thickened, but it's just, it's not. Did I do enough honey? T 
TBSP. Yeah, we did a TBSP of honey. More THC. THC, TBSP, ESPN. It's like the ESPN of orange chicken. Okay, we'll set this to the side like the recipe says. We got so many things set into the side, dude. I'm running out of fucking sides. Brian, it's still warm. So we need a large bowl. It says six or seven minutes in the uh, instructionals. And I feel like we were approaching, we were approaching six or seven minutes. Maybe, maybe I just got it too hot. All right, I trust you. Large bowl. You gotta crack a few eggs if you wanna to crack some eggs. Whisk the eggs until blended. Egg. Has anybody ever cracked a rotten egg before? Whoops, they don't need a shell. I don't think I've ever cracked a rotten egg. Oh. Shout out to the gold silverware. Again, feeling a little bit more like Snoop Dogg every day. It's just a part of the process, you know what I mean? Oak trees didn't become oak trees just overnight. The wind just didn't start howling for no reason. All right, so we're gonna whisk the eggs until blended. Where's the fucking lamb sauce, damn it. Thank you, Aaron. We need more lamb sauce. Okay. Another large bowl next to the eggs and we're gonna put cornstarch in it. This is simmering. I'm gonna go a little lower on the heat. One and a half cups of cornstarch. Cowbell and, yeah, we need more cowbell and lamb sauce. Whoop. Jesus Christ, we might not, oh my God, dude, cornstarch avalanche. It's in my nose. So there's one, oh my God. Shout out to the jack stack, we can barely contain it. Dude, where's the cornstarch, man? Everywhere. I'll show y'all in a second. It was literally an avalanche of cornstarch, guys. It's all over, all over my book. Golly. All right, we're back. Cornstarch. Turn the heat up a little more on this. I want to see some bubbles going. But that's got to be almost done.
All right, so basically we're just gonna take our chicken, go from egg wash to cornstarch. That's it. Um, I'm gonna set this somewhere, running out of room. About there. We are gonna get a cutting board. I read online bamboo cutting boards are good if you're gonna go with wood. Um, they are a hard wood and some about like retaining the germs better or some shit. I don't know. Plain cornstarch is flammable. That's good to know. That also sounds fun. Why you put cornstarch in quote? Oh yeah. Cornstarch. I get it. I'm not that dumb. All right, so we're going to take our chicken and just hunk it up. Still got a little bit of frozen on it. But that's okay. Chicken hands, chicken hands. I got some chicken hands for you. Gordon Ramsay. Yes, chef. You fuck with. You fucking donut. Yes, chef. I am a donut. Yes, chef. Right away, I'll get the donuts. Oh, by the way, I put a Bob Ross, uh, Bob Ross cookbook on my Amazon wish list. I think this, uh, I think this is done simmering. I'm gonna turn it off so we don't fuck it up. I did wash my chicken with bleach. Uh, I pre-washed it today. Sorry, streamers. Grab a knife. Give it a little wick wick. Wick wick. And then we're just going to hunk it up like the picture uh, looks like. Yeah, dude, I need the Bob Ross Pro. If I'm doing Bob Ross. I'm going to set the uh, hunked up chicken in here. It's not too hot. It's not going to melt it, right? No, we're good. All right. Yeah, the washing machine's on the poultry cycle. She's breaking. She's on her way out. I think I'm going to try and just get them all about the same hunk size. Hunking my chicken away. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't put hairdressers on my Amazon wish list, Geo. I've also never made orange chicken before, so this will be interesting. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. T 
TJ and Janine. Okay. I'm just honking chicken, dog. That one might be a little on the thin side, but that's okay. There's no wrong way to do it. Cutting chicken in the kitchen. You're goddamn right, Matt. Ooh, chicken veggie tortellini. That sounds amazing. You got it. What's your twi Yeah, like, are you, did you stream it, dude? I want to watch. You goddamn right, Jake. Just fucking honking my chicken away, dude. It's not even a big deal at this point. Boop, boop. Cut those ickies off. Bada bing, dude. Get out of my face. Check. So we got that. Toss them into both and into the yada da ding. Tater torts. I like some tater torts. I'll tater. I'll get my. I'll get on some tater torts. So I think my plan is gonna be Bing, 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 and then we're gonna get another one for Bing. Nate's here. Is our awesome washer picking up on your mic? Oh yeah. <laughs> Goes. Here's my favorite bowl in the picture. Favorite bowls join the chat. Fucking right. We need more lamb sauce, meowing scabs. So I think I'm gonna do like a small handful at a time. And then it said with a slotted spoon I'm supposed to pick them out, but I'm just going to use my hands because that's the tool too. Let the excess give it get its drip on a little bit. And then they're just going to go for a playful little romp in, in the cornstarch. Ooh, this feels weird on my hands. I feel like I need to rinse my hands every fucking time I do this. It's so light and fluffy. Grab yourself a honk of chicken. Get them mixing. Right, Nate? Mm -hmm. Is it pan hot? Not yet. We're not doing that yet. Oh. Well, step by step, dude. Fry it, dude. It looks good. <laughs> Fuck it. I said I was going to wash them, but I'm not. I'm over it. Should have let those drippings drip, too. Fuck it. Let's see. I know y'all can't really see the mixing bowl, but that's all right. You get the idea. Man, I don't even have an apron. We got to get an apron on there. Stop House needs to make me a custom one. Or just make one for merch, and I'll just rock that. Let me 
good. Let these hunks of chicken drain a little. And then we just go right into the batter. Drain a little, little. Channel analytics. Get them into the cornstarch. Consume, consume, consume. They might. I mean, if Prof was still doing cooking shit, it'd probably be a thing, but he ain't. Can you not smell that? Oh! Who's got that subscriber? Some anonymous gentleman or gentlewoman. Thank you. to do is um put that slotted spoon that we were talking about to use <laughs> if i had a white one i'd totally do it <laughs> i'll um i'll do i'll do the white apron thing when i invite mike over to be a guest Who just got me some lamb sauce? Sassy Lassie, thank you for the lamb sauce. So you can see that we're putting the slotted spoon to work. We got no slouches in the kitchen today. And then we're gonna put them in this clean bowl because I love doing dishes. Supposed to kind of knock off some of the extra. Make sure everything getting a good coating. What? CC, thank you for the two gifts. Oh, we got the gravy train incoming. That's another thing I gotta change. I gotta make. I gotta call it the gravy train since we're cooking. Yeet! Oh my God! Stop outside doors. You're really getting it in. Thank you. Who's the conductor of this hype train? Is it Cece? Cece, are you the conductor? Who's got the caboose? That's okay. Hey, thank you, Krista. It comes labeled. Um, so I know who's giving me what. Uh, so don't don't worry about that. I appreciate you. That's that fucking lamb sauce. Y'all are having fun with that shit. And I'm loving it. We need more fucking lamb sauce, Aaron. I think Aaron's the. I think Aaron's driving it. Aaron's a conductor of this com, uh, fucking hype train right now. All right. We got that done. Thank you, Miss Scab, for having a good time. Um, I low key, I love me some Asian food. So this is going to be really good. I'm starving too. So it's going to hit even better. Okay. 
So, so much lamb sauce. I can't even get a word in edgewise. Line a plate with paper towels and set aside. Large skillet, medium high heat, canola oil. Swirl the pan to cover the bottom completely. We get our skillet on the way. Lamb sauce is pouring out of every fucking pour right now. Ms. Rampage is, uh, we are all on this fucking train together, aren't we? Where are we going, guys? I'll tell you where we're going. We're going to fucking Flavortown, and we're probably going to pick up, what's his name? Billy Idol along the way. Who's the mayor of Flavortown? I forget his fucking name. We're going to get him some fucking lamb sauce. Yeah, for real. I might have to if y'all are really at it like that, but I also like it, so it's cool. Dang old choo-choo, man. That's that dang old choo-choo, man. Getting this hot. Carefully add the chicken to the hot oil. Cook for three to four minutes each side or until golden and crispy. Transfer the chicken to the prepared plate. Season with salt. Drain any excess oil in the drain. And uh, wipe the pan with a paper towel. That's easy. How much cannoli oil? Half a cup. Half a cup of cannoli oil. Man, do you, I don't know understand I don't know if y'all understand the amount of work that goes into creating cannoli oil. Um it's it's like a year long process and you really only get like this much in a little, you know, twenty five gallon drum. Somebody caught it. And I I, I think it's funnier that it's a parent that caught it too. That's what the hype train's all about. Pouring hot oil down your fucking drain. Cannoli oil. Forget about it. I got cornstarch everywhere. Get our cannoli oil in there. We gonna grab our grease trap screen thing. Where's the fucking lamb sauce, damn it. Thank you, Jake. I didn't know that. Cornstarch on your balls, huh? Level one hype train emote. Let's share that, bitch. Boom. Level one completed. Thank you. There's levels to this shit, and we're completing them. I'm like, for every hype train we get to, I'm taking off an article of clothing, and we're jumping over to OnlyFans. All right, let's see how this is doing. Ah! Shit! Fuck! This part always scares me. Do one of those, maybe? I don't fucking know. I hate this part. All right, here we go. I think I'm just going to set him in there and stop being a B-word. I'm getting there. I'm getting to the goddamn lamb sauce, Miss Scabs. Where's the 
I'm trying, Mr. Ramsey. I'm trying. This is a hot skillet. And I'm really not a chef. I'm a photographer. I'm just doing this because I'm fucking bored. And it's fun. This skillet sits funny. I can't get the... I can't get enough oil in the middle, dogs. Oh, shit. It's been sitting in there for too long. We're losing some gumption. There we go. Okay, I'll take that. I think I gotta do a little more Earl, dog. But like, that's what I'm saying. My pan, my pan, and the way that the, the thing's tilted and the gravitational pull of the flat earth, it doesn't cover the whole pan. It sits to the side. There we go. Increase the heat just a little bit. Check our brine. Brine's not very cold yet. I think I'm gonna set it outside. Here we go. Hopefully a squirrel doesn't take a bath in my brine. We just get it on the shallow fry, I guess. Right? Meisen? How do you say your last name? Meisenin? Meisen? My sin? My sins? That is that lamb sauce. We're gonna get them dancing in there. working yeah I realize adding cold oil to warm oil is not a good thing but at least it wasn't water Just working on getting all these bitches flipped at least once one good time this is too many to fucking count Gio, how many pieces of chicken do I have in this pot? Pan. And then where's my fucking lamb sauce? God damn it. Gordon's gonna have a fucking fit. Okay, we're going. We're, we're doing good, guys. I don't think Haven's here. My sin. Got it. What's up, sassy lassie? I see you. It's definitely in your contract, Gio. How many are in here? I need you to tell me.
Wind back in. Okay, we're gonna get a uh, plate ready. Turn the heat down a little so we don't burn nothing. is all the rage these days. Fucking lamb sauce! Lamb sauce! Ooh, these are looking pretty damn good though. You never told me how many pieces of chicken are in here. Jen, it's probably sauce for a lamb. It's a lamb's favorite sauce when they sit down and eat. That chicken is just doing its own dance and I love it. Okay. Now we'll do the brine part. So we're going to take a dish like this. Actually, fuck that. I don't need to do that. Because I got a dish like this that they're already in. We're going to drain this juice from the defrost. Got our wang wang. Yes, this is Snoop Dogg approved oil. Um, it's 100% or as well, it's like 99.8% THC. Symmetrical PI. Thank you for coming, by the way. Uh, we're making the orange chicken with white rice. And then what you see here is raw chicken that I eat on stream every day, if you're new. Geo is my internet bodyguard, and then this is a, it's a great little community we're, we're fucking building right here. I think I might transition to a full-time chef and hang up the camera. So this brine that we made, oranges and shit, we're just going to pour it in here so these guys get submerged. And like I said, the, oh shit, spilt a little, that's okay. The brine can sit for two days on the chicken and it's still gonna be fine. So even if y'all don't pick chicken wings tomorrow, we can do it Friday. Close that up and get it in the fridge. We getting smoky in here. No, we haven't made the rice yet. These are nice and crispy. They're getting there. They're not done yet, but they're getting there. All right. I'm definitely on that raw chicken diet. Liver King style. Okay. So basically we just wait for this to finish cooking, get it out of the skillet, wipe it up so we don't have a ton of grease and then we put the chicken back in heat it up with the sauce and then we'll get that rice on on its way so we've got instant white rice right here
One, one, and three. I should probably rinse it out. I'm washing a cutting board real quick. Just so we don't got extra chicken shit going everywhere. Your chicken shit and your other shit and your shit and shit. going. So we're going to do uh, two servings. So that's one cup of white rice. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take this and rinse it in the sink like three times. I'm working on the lamb sauce, Gordon, okay? God damn it, dude. You got me making lamb sauce and fucking orange chicken and shit. What the hell kind of restaurant is this, dude? Can you pick a fucking menu? All right, so these guys started. I'm going to go wash this uh, chicken. Or rice, I mean. Forget, I don't got a thing to strain this goddamn rice out. It's all wet and stuff. How do I do this? What's gonna be a good way to do this? Ooh. I don't want to. I got it. I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry. She's rinsed. The lamb sauce is coming, guys. We're almost to lamb sauce time. Okay, what do I got to do for water? A cup of water. Uh, print giveaways that we do. She's cooking on a burner you can't see. 
but it's just white rice, so it's going to be okay. Lambin sauce. Pink lemonade. Thank you for coming. What's good? We're making uh, food from Snoop Dogg's cookbook, and today it's the orange chicken with white rice. That's what the group picked, so that's what I'm fucking making. We got uh, chicken wings brining for either tomorrow or the next day. And it's just been a pleasant little evening. Yesterday, uh, I made king crab legs for a woman named Sarah Dope and a man named Chris Leonard. Um, it's been good. It's been going real good. Okay. We don't get our water a boiling. I always forget how to make rice, and then I feel like I do it wrong. I just need a cover. I need lamb sauce! Got the cover. This is gonna be a nice little photo finish, boys and girls. Hell yeah, that's what's good. Did I send that in the chat? Choo choo, motherfucker. Bang bang. Choo choo, bang bang. So our rice is chilling, done been rinsed. Thank you, CC. Lamb sauce is on its way. Bang bang, what's up, Flynn? Um, hope you're doing well, man. Mr. Danny. I want that like crisp, 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 crisp. Somebody tell Gio I want it crispy. Our water for our rice is almost at a boil. Crispy! And our orange sauce really didn't thicken, guys. Lamb sauce is doing great. Thank you, CC. About to add this young done rice to the mix. Get rid of this. Mine. My kitchen gets destroyed every day we do this. Chucking in this rice. Giving it a quick stir. Now I gotta find my lid, 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 lid. Where the fuck did I put that lid, damn it? I'm gonna wait till it gets, the, gets back to boiling real quick. And then we'll fluff it with the fork. I'll fluff you with the fork, Gio. Water's back to a boil, removing from heat. It didn't say, it said simmer for six to seven minutes, dog. Yeah, I think the sauce is going to be a bit of a bummer. simmer and cook for six to seven minutes until thickened. So am I supposed to keep going? I'll get it going again. Fuck it. Fuck it.
Here we go. It needs to be thickened if it says until thickened. So it's not thickened. So we just, we say to hell with the numbers and we just go off of fucking whatever the hell we're thinking. Y'all is crazy. This chicken's on the, on the rise though. This looks real good. We're almost there. Plating! Lamb sauce! Yeah, I got her going. She's on. Everybody chill out. It's fucking coming. This is great though. This is coming along. Got a hot behind on a bit mama dead down. Cheers. Cheers to lamb sauce. Yeah, y'all are killing it. We're doing really good. As a gang and as a squad. I think more so squad activity is where it should be. Just give it a little bit of a shake outside. I think this one's done. Say, so we're back on a simmer. Now all I'm really waiting for <clears throat> is my chicken to get real nice and golden brown and extra extra crispy. I don't want to see any pieces that, you know, don't at least have some nice, good, you know, golden color on one side. Look at that little motherfucker. Get in there. This one too. Oh, shit. He's good on that side, isn't he? What about this one? Oh, that one's great. God damn. Gio, did you figure out how much pe how many pieces of chicken are in here? Squad goats. Oh, fuck. It is kind of getting thicker. Y'all are right. I'm sorry. I doubted you. I feel like it's going to be a little too soy saucy. I got the sauce going. I got the sauce. I got the sauce. I got to fluff this rice though too. Look at that. She a little soggy yet. A little bit. Look at some of that. Some of that water cooked out. It's okay. I fucking hate making rice. I need to get a rice maker. Dude, we're almost there, Aaron. It's, it's, it's getting there. Heat's coming back up because the bubble stopped. Chicken is just about done. We are ripping through. Episode fucking 20 is coming to an end. This rice is soggy, though. Not looking forward to that. I don't think I have an Instapot. 
Nate might, but I've never really cooked with one, so I'll just do it the old-fashioned way and fuck it up that way. All right, calling the chicken. Somebody let Gio know the chicken's done. Coming in with the oven glove. That looks really fucking good. I'm not going to lie to y'all. You can, you can feel the crispiness with the fork. You can feel the crispiness with the fork. No matter how much lamb sauce you really got going. All right. So we got the rest of that water up out the rice. We're going to let it sit in there for just a little longer yet. Pretty sure I can let this shit simmer and it's not it's not gonna get any thicker guys. I don't know what to tell y'all. Um I'm not gonna worry about cleaning the pan out and putting it back in the pan. We're just gonna do it right on the plate. Sauce is on the low. What did Matt say? I ain't clearing up shit! Where's the fucking lamb sauce, Gordon? Damn it, Gordon. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. That's a check. That's a fucking check. That chicken is verified. Somebody get this chicken a blue check because it's verified. Gordon Ramsay would be like, man, let me get you some fucking lamb sauce. I'd be like, no shit, you stupid bitch. Get out of my kitchen. How did you get into my house? You're technically breaking and entering. I'm flattered, Gordon, but leave. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. My kitchen is destroyed. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Jake, I'm going to get you some sauce, dog. Don't worry, man. <clears throat> that cookbook, actually, that Jack K got me. I don't know if you were here when I said it, but a lot of his recipes are like, all right, man, how can you do all this shit from scratch? Because it's better for you, more healthy. So, I'm going to, ah, that was hot. I'm going to learn how to um, make my own sauces, and then I'm going to put them in cans and shit, and then I'll have like a homemade ketchup, homemade mustard, homemade fucking mayo, uh, srirachas, and all sorts of shit. So that'll be fun to do.
All right, so I feel like this has been six or seven minutes. It's been simmering. It's kind of getting thick. I think maybe I should put a little more honey in there. We're going with a little more honey. Check the Royce. Royce is good. Plating. Rice is a little soggy, guys. Sorry. I am not good at cooking rice. And now we're going to get our sauce on there. You know, I think we did a damn good thing here today. Go out and thank your senators. My kitchen is a mess. Yeah, you can't even see it. That's okay. So, we got our steamy plate of perfection here. As it cools, I'm going to put a few things away. Ugh. I could. I could do a lot of things. Oh, I forgot the toasted sesame seeds, or I forgot the sesame seeds as garnish. I do be forgetting my garnishes is. Yes, sir. Parsley is long gone. I don't really have anything good for, for, for a little little gar garnash. It's fine. This will be fine. Everything's fine. I like stir fries more, I think, when there's more vegetables and shit in there. But it's going to be really good. Chicken's super crunchy. Yep. Can I? Yeah, go for it. Where's the... Oh, I can take them to me. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Got, sauce? Got a little spice. A little spice? Mm-hmm. Okay. A little spice. I like it. All right. I got the Nate seal of approval, guys. This one made a fucking mess, though. Yeah, it did. <laughs> That's that cornstarch. So here we go. Mmm. Oh, man. It's definitely got the orange. Rice a little soggy. Well, orange chicken, it better not taste like a lemon. No, I know. It doesn't taste like lemon at all. Yeah, I'm in it. I will, I will definitely make this again for myself. That chicken, out of sight. You've never cooked a chicken with cornstarch? 
do that. Here we go. It smelled like it was going to be too soy saucy, but it's not. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, I'm going to add, I'd add veggies in the next one. I want to do it on my own, but. I'm trying my best to follow along with this recipe. As close as I can. This was a shit. All right. I want to sit down and actually finish this meal. So, thank you all for coming. Appreciate you. When we got two days left this week, easy peasy. You got to cook for yourself anyway. Come cook with me. I fucking hate all this, but it's fun doing it like this. I don't think I'd ever be cooking if I didn't try and do this shit. So, it's definitely more of a challenge here for me than anything else. Do I? Can I fucking cook for myself? Do I know what the fuck I'm doing? Can I read out of a book? Can I read books? We're learning new things every day. All right. Appreciate all of you for coming through. Making that hype train a reality. Getting that shit on the tracks. You know. You know what they say about trains. You get high on trains. High on life. All right. Get home safe, everybody.